Okay, just email me the offer. I'm looking forward to it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi. So you're thinking about buying a house. Well, there's a large number of things that you should know before you begin the home buying process. In this video series, I'll explain many of those things, one per video. Home buyers often ask me, what is the difference between a short sale and a foreclosure? Well, there's considerable confusion about this difference, so I'm going to quickly explain in practical terms. A foreclosure is a home which has gone through the legal process required to change the ownership from the person who purchased the property into the name of the bank that financed the property. This is typically done because the buyer was not making the scheduled payments. Such bank-owned homes are commonly called REO properties. REO stands for Real Estate Owned, and most banks have a special REO department which is in charge of selling these properties. The banks try to sell the REO properties for the maximum amount that they can so that they can recoup as much as possible of their original loan. Sometimes these properties are placed in the market for sale at prices which are low enough to cause a bidding war. We've actually seen some REO properties get 30 or more bids and end up selling for considerably over the list price. This usually happens fairly quickly and the REO properties may go off the market in a matter of days. On the other hand, a short sale is a property which is still owned by the original purchaser. The value of the property has dropped to the point where the owner now owes more on the mortgage than the property is worth. Let's take an example. Uh, let's say a condo that cost the buyer $120,000 was purchased a year ago. The buyer got a mortgage for $100,000 to go with the $20,000 of savings that he had and that allowed him to purchase the property. Now today the condo is worth only $75,000 due to the decline in real estate prices. The owner unfortunately needs to move to another town because he has a job transfer, but he doesn't have the $25,000 saved up that would be required to fully pay off the $100,000 mortgage. So, the owner lists the condo for sale with the realtor, and this results in a buyer making an offer for a purchase at a market value of $75,000. So, if the offer is for $75,000, and ignoring temporarily the normal costs of selling, the seller would still have to come up with another $25,000 to pay the bank back its original $100,000 loan. Since the seller can't do this, the bank must make the decision to accept a short payoff of only $75,000 in order for a sale to be finalized. All short sales are contingent upon the mortgage holding bank's decision, and sometimes this decision-making process takes months to complete. We've actually had some short sales take 9 to 12 months to close. It's a sad fact that many short sales never close because the lender may take so long to decide that the buyer becomes discouraged and drops out. The important thing to remember is that if you need a house quickly, making an offer on a short sale property may be a gamble. It may close quickly or it may not. There's currently no way to tell up front. If you do need a home quickly, consider making an offer on either an REO property or a non-distressed property where the actual owners can make a quick decision about whether or not to accept your offer. This is Eric Martell with Remax Properties Southwest in Orlando, Florida. Thanks for watching.